and I said, I'm busy, uh, but uh, okay, I said, I will try to get some, some time and write, and I hope I've done justice to the, to the topic, which is uh, on food in, in Goa in the 16th century. I agree with what Sanji says. People have distorted Goa's history. What we should aim is to have an objective, factual history, not just imaginary history that is that what we read today. It's not only Donna Power, it's so many things happening. And we should not be passionate about what we are writing. We should go according to the facts. Now coming to the 16th century, and we have Hindu Punar Chan Goa, I hope I pronounced it properly. We can't forget the Muslim Jungle. Let's put it together. We even came, I mean, we the Catholics came after we converted. But it was from the Muslims that the Portuguese took over. So there is influence and we have to also focus on that. If you are going from objective history, we have to mention it. I don't know if you agree or disagree, but this is, as a, as a historian, as, as a student of history, we will go by fact. I'm writing, a, for my doctoral thesis, and I'm, I'm really writing a different history which we have not uh, been shown or nobody has written about it. It's, it's more on a negative than the positive, like uh, Sangeet said, it's both the side. But then we have to accept it. I wrote also saying that we Catholics have done this and we were more into it, for example, in alcoholism. It's a fact. It's a fact that I have started doing my research. It's a fact. So let us. Let us write a true history of Goa. Let's not depend on magazine to sell Goa by showing beaches. Just yesterday we had discussion that earlier in 70s, 80s, all the magazine had hippies on Goa's cover when the paper. So who lives here? Are the hippies? Or you should say the movie Putra is now. I think I've said enough when I was not prepared. Thank you very much for having me the opportunity. And let us let us work for having a, a true history of war. Thank you.